Okay, this is Bradley, and uh, yeah, it's mostly right. There's some issues. One is the forward acceleration is a bit uneven, because that suddenly it covers a lot of ground on that second bounce. So it's like it's speeding up. And on the first bounce, there's some almost some little kind of almost pause or glitch there that I want to look at. So let's take a look here. Maya. Yeah, it's like it slows down as it approaches the bounce. Let's see. Uh, is this what you animated? Looks like it. Uh, yeah, I can see right here. Woo, that Y translate. This is wrong. The rest of them look right. This one's wrong. Something more like that. I think it'll already look better. Okay, now let's look at that forward momentum, because that's also weird. Is that translate X? Yeah, so see how it kind of slow, fast, slow, and then slow, fast, slow. So I would just change all this to linear and try to get it to be more consistent. Uh, and then you only have that one where you did the extra contact frame, the rest you didn't. So that's the other thing you could improve on, is having the extra contact frame for all the bounces. But that looks better now that it's a consistent speed moving forward, I think. So, a couple things to fix on that. Um, let's look at uh, realistic. Actually, I quite like that one. I like that the the, the spin changes because that happens with real balls, and I I especially like the smaller bounces at the end. Uh, this is believable. This is good work. I think there's a w little bit of an issue where it's, it seems to accelerate there, but I guess if the spin kind of caused it to move forward more, I think that's realistic too. Yeah, actually, I think you've done quite a good job on the realistic bounce. I don't know that I would change anything on that. That's very good work. 